Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're leaving this KOA campground. Spent the night here in Montrose, Colorado. Decent little park, plenty of shade trees. It is hot this summer. Had to plug in, use the air conditioner. Wasn't that an epic trip coming over the million dollar highway? That is definitely one for the memory books. Okay, we're it's Sunday morning early. We're gonna run downtown. Do a little exploring around Montrose and we're heading over to Gunnison, Colorado. I've seen some pretty cool statues right down here at the main drag. This is Highway 50 as well. Actually, we're going to be going back the other direction. We'll be heading east on 50 out of Montrose. Gunnison's only about less than uh, 70 miles. There's uh, Blue Lake Mesa, all kinds of cool stuff along the way. So sit back, enjoy the ride. Cool old time downtown, historic downtown. Yeah, when I drove through yesterday, I mean, it was packed full of cars. The only good time to get down here. It's like an early, early morning, any morning probably, but this is Sunday, probably be better. They had like a little park up here, we're gonna check. There they are, those statues over across the street. Kind of look western theme. Isn't that cool? Look at it. That thing is huge. Cowboy with his rope. Looks like a deer, huh? That is very impressive. One thing about Colorado, it's all western themed. Bad decision. <laughs> you think? Well, what else I got down here? It's a cool little park. I mean, this is right on the intersection of 50 and the other highway that goes up towards uh, Grand Junction. And like most towns, a little map of all the historic buildings. Supposed to be a cool courthouse. We'll catch that on the way out. Yeah, I, that caught my eye when I came to town yesterday. I was tired after driving that million dollar highway. It's like a few plaques, people that help keep this thing going. Ooh, big mural there on Ace Hardware, huh? We're still up in elevation. It's probably about 6,000 feet here. Murals just amaze me. Just the size of the painting, the amount of detail. Look at that, they even painted inside the windows. <laughs> All brick in here. Looks like they got a couple vendors that set up. Well, pretty darn cool. I had to check these where we hit the road. One last look at this guy. What detail in that, huh? 
All right, to the van we go. Go around the block here. I had to get turned around anyway. We're going to head out Highway 50. Check these old buildings over here and then we'll hit the road. Let the sun come up a little bit more. Hope everyone's staying cool in their world. It is sure a one hot summer. Pretty much cross country. Okay, this looks like a good place to get parked. Take a little, another little walk. Big old courthouse, all brick. Quite a bit of detail. Look at the size of that tree. What are hundreds of years that is. Still going too. That is huge. Big grand staircase going up into it. Standing the test of time, isn't it? This looks like all their county buildings, city buildings probably. Pretty good sized town. Yeah, I've never been through this way. I've never taken 50 this far down. About four years ago, I drove 50 on the other end of Colorado around Pueblo and Salida and those places. Here's our visitor center, but it's not open on Sundays. So if you get this direction, you know, that KOA I stayed in was pretty darn nice, really, and cheap. It wasn't pricey at all. So if you're actually doing the Route 50 trip, like a lot of RVers do, Montrose would be definitely a good stop. You know, I think this is the Elks building, too. It sure is. I'm an Elk member. I'll be darned. Got all the colorful flowers going. Heck yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy. Statues everywhere. Montrose, Colorado. Well, let's do a few miles. Head on down the road. You know, uh, I was reading online, Highway 50 closes during the week at night. Oh, cool. There's a movie theater here. I haven't been to a movie in years. I don't know why. I just can't sit that long. <laughs> the world's changed. Everything's on YouTube. Including us, RV or TV. We're going into the sun. We've got a few miles to do. We're going to go find that uh, Blue Lake Mesa. It's supposed to have a dam reservoir there, campground. Then all the way into Gunnison. Gunnison has a huge museum, and they are open on Sundays. Yay!
pretty ride through here, kind of wide open. We're climbing up a little mountain here now. This is called Zero Summit. Supposed to be camping up here. Some trails. Probably four wheeling, all that. But look at that view, isn't that gorgeous? There's looking back down towards Montrose. There's some of the trails. You can boondock here. As far as you can see, all green. Definitely snow country. You can get a lot of snow here. There's Highway 50. Oh, check this out. Look at the size of this um, lake. Guaranteed catch uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in that thing, huh? Look at that. Pretty fast paced road, speed limit 65, not too much traffic yet. We're going to hit some major road construction where they close it on the weekdays. that direction is the Black Canyon and Gunnison's National Park. Stretches uh, quite a ways, big old canyon up there. But even right here along Highway 50, we got our own canyon we're driving through. Very pretty, very scenic. little hazy there's fire smoke in the air from fires from all over around the country look how green no it is And there's looking at back at where we just drove through. Pretty. The Gunnison River flows through here, which creates all this. I think we're getting closer to where all that construction is. Back in Montrose, you see billboards with all this, how they close Highway 50 with major construction. During the week, weekday nights, and on the weekends, it's totally open. So I kind of timed it out to where we'd cut through here on a Sunday. Still a pretty drive, good old Highway 50, you know, coast to coast, from Sacramento clear to Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. I've never been on this stretch of it though. Ooh, look at this. This must be it. Wow, this is narrow through here, huh? 
I wonder if it's just general repair. They had a landslide or something, maybe uh, some rocks. widening it. I'd say they're shoring up the rock. You know this last winter it was epic melt, spring uh, melt, runoffs. I'd say they're trying to widen the road, don't you? Wow, that's a lot of work. Well, I see why they close it. <laughs> you start working out here, how would you ever get your equipment around with traffic? Speaking of traffic, there's a ton of it. I got a bunch behind me. Looks like we're going to lose our pavement. Wow. Well, hopefully they get it done quick. Yay, back to pavement. <laughs> Everything inside the van was rattling. Oh no, I spoke too soon. <laughs> well, can't be too much farther. Here we go. According to phone, we're almost up to that uh, big lake where the dam is. We're going to stop, take a break, check it out. There's the Blue Mesa Lake, part of the Gunnison River, too. This is where we turn. It's supposed to be a campground stuff down here. I thought about staying here, but I want to go all the way into Gunnison. This is called Lake Fork Campground. Ooh, got a boat launch. Huge lake. It, when you look at it on the map, this thing goes a long ways. You could reserve sites online when I was looking at it. I looked at this yesterday when I was at that KOA. But I want to do the museum in Gunnison. So for timing, I figured we'll stay, spend the night in Gunnison. Pretty well laid out. 
but you're camping on pavement. Looks like you got a little picnic table. There's a dam over there. We'll drive over. Why not, huh? Boating, fishing. Plus there's a road you can take. It takes you back towards Gunnison. It's like 40 miles long. I think it's dirt road. I forget the trail. Maybe we'll see it when we're over at the dam. And there's a bridge down that way we'll have to cross when we're heading out of here. Pretty place. Looks like private cabins up there. What a view, huh? That is a world-class view up there of this whole lake. Pretty. Well, what do you say? Let's keep on trucking. At least we got blue sky. It's heating up though. You can feel the heat coming on. This wouldn't be bad at all for overnight restrooms. Maybe two nights. That'd be it though. Parking on pavement. Better like your neighbor, huh? <laughs> Joke. Teasing. All right, let's go find that dam. Make it right here. Yeah, that road construction driving through that stuff. Oh, look at this van. He's got him his own private spot right there. Boondocking. But driving through all that construction to try to do it during the week when they close the road at night. Probably goofs up camping here, I bet. Alright, here's the Blue Mesa Dam, I think they call it. Drive across. Oh wow, there's a big canyon off to the left. That is way down there. Let me go get parked. We'll walk back out here. Nice parking area. Got a little restroom here. So you got a little day use area. See a storyboard or two. Perfect. Mesa Dam. That water looks clean, doesn't it? Probably perfect fishing. That's deep here, though. That's quite a drop. Let's go check it out. Huge earthen dam. Look at that rock. Wow. Wonder when they constructed this thing. They're generating power down there out of this, too. Cool. A 
There's a dirt road down there with a road grader. And there's your Gunnison River. Very pretty place. There's that road I was reading about. It cuts you back up into the hills. So this wouldn't be bad at all. You could camp over the campground or just come here for a day use. Pretty. Oh, cool. Here it is. West Elk Loop Scenic Byway. That's what I was reading about. So you can really go a long ways up in the hills here. Won't do it this trip. That might be for another day. Van doesn't do too good on dirt roads. But something to consider if you get down this way. This must be their spillway over here. They must have piped it under the road. Wondered if they opened it up this year with all the snow melt. Probably, huh? This lake is full. Look at it. Pretty good access, though. Crest length, 800 feet. Power plant, 98 megawatt. Look at that spillway tunnel diameter, 21 feet. 341 feet tall. live here you'd never run out of water would you cool well that shows you just how long it is too oh there's three dams look at that I didn't even know huh okay so there's three dams that create all this. Interesting. Well, what do you say? Let's head on into Gunnison. I stopped here just trying to figure a decent places to stop kind of check out along route US Highway 50 we're not that much farther into Gunnison the whole trip today is less than 70 miles Quite a few fishing boats out there. Looks like they got some alcoves from the main lake. One thing about Colorado, there is plenty to do and see, especially for outdoor activity.
Here's the main bridge. A little boat scooting right along, gonna go right underneath us. He's in a hurry to go catch that next big fish. Very pretty scenic drive, even with the construction, I mean, oh well. That was even pretty in that area. Just all, the road was all beat up. And there are all kinds of recreation areas and camping through here. When you look at it on the maps, you can spot them. So you could camp, fish, boat, whatever, to your heart's content here. For more information on my travels, go to my website, rvrtv.tv. Be sure to sign up for the free newsletter. I put one out twice a month on the 5th and the 20th. There you'll get current information on upcoming travels, all kinds of cool stuff. Plus I have free screensaver downloads on the website. You can sign up for those. Everything is free. Then also I have merch. Hats, t-shirts, cookbooks, coloring books. All that cool stuff. And it helps support future travel and the channel. And I greatly appreciate it. Once again, it's rvertv.tv. Well, I'd say we're getting near the end of the lake here. And we should be in town shortly. Welcome to Gunnison, Colorado. Once again, another historic old town. Mining history, all of it right in here. It's supposed to have a really cool downtown area. I thought we'd walk it before we hit the museum. Made it. And look at this right to the right. Perfect. Perfect parking. Some of the best days to get down here uh, in these towns is on Sunday. Well, we'll take a little stroll through downtown Gunnison on a Sunday morning. That traffic really picked up. As soon as I got through that road construction, we left Blue Mesa late. Oh man, floodgates open with traffic. Cool architecture, the old style brick buildings, big glass windows. Isn't that neat? Well, we'll stroll down a block or two. See what it's like to walk the streets of Gunnison. Must be some restaurants. People waiting to get in. Small town USA with the flower pots hanging. Aren't those gorgeous? Colorful. Looks like an art gallery, antique shop maybe, huh? Very 
very well done. Welcome. Okay, thank you. More flowers. Ah. They smell so good. Looks like a lot of this been kind of restored. Ooh, need a guitar? Music shop here, huh? Well, looks like a uh, wait in line to get in and get something to eat. Black Country Cafe, probably really good food. Another restaurant there, huh? Pretty cool. Oh wow, look at that mural. We gotta go check that out. Must be their little town park. Small town USA right here. Gunnison, that's a pretty fancy mural. Tables to sit at. Perfect. Very impressive detail. Quite an artist did this one. Well, what do you say? We'll head back to the van, go find that museum. Very nice downtown area, very historic. Plenty of shops. That food sure smell good people going in those restaurants. Nice fountain going there. Museum's right up here on the right. Got a airport back there. Huge park. Alright, what do you say? Let's go check out a museum. place is huge. Well, let's go on in. You're not going to believe this. 29 buildings. My goodness. <laughs> it's getting hot, too. Well, ready to go for a walk? <laughs> Let's do it. It's like a whole village set up out here, she said. Nice volunteers. Plus they're adding more buildings. They're still adding on to this thing. So you just stroll through. Check out each building. It's supposed to represent a little town. Tons of railroad history in Colorado, isn't there? Like the Durango, Silver, Silverton uh, train. Wasn't that museum cool? Check out that video if you get a chance. Hey, we can go up in here. What do they got? Oh, movie playing. Give you some of the history about Gunnison. Ooh, it's hot in here. 
The Gunnison River went right down a valley. Which there you go. The All about Gunnison. Even got their own water tower tank. My goodness. Huge effort goes into these uh, small town museums. But for a small town, they got a big one. It must be their train depot. Look at all the rail cars and a water tank. Well, come on in, get a ticket. Old pictures. Probably uh, from this area, I'm sure. There's your train schedule. Look at the old phones, huh? <laughs> Sergeant, elevation 8478. Cool. What have we got in here? Oh, the old luggage. They got a lot of old antiques in here. But it's hot. Let's go outside. in here. Oh, radios, phonographs. Quite a collection. There's the jukebox. Never see that stuff anymore, huh? They got about everything you can think of. There's even old china and dishes. Probably a lot of this stuff was donated by the locals, I bet. Supposed to have a bunch of cars up here, too. Next building. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Oh wow, model trains. Hey, who's that guy? <laughs> that is something. I mean, for a small town, this is, town isn't that big to have a museum of this size. it to get in here twelve dollars I think well worth it help support it wow just anything and everything you can think of quilts this black mat oh post office check your mail there's old George Washington
handwritten notes, ledgers, There's an old time uh, crane. And more buildings. <laughs> All right, old Doylesville schoolhouse. So they moved a lot of this stuff on this property. Classrooms, wood desk, teacher up there, old one room schoolhouse. That's quite the collection. Check these guys online. Gunnison Museum. That is quite a collection. In the shade, it isn't bad. In the sun, it's pretty warm. Still better in Arizona. Arizona is cooking right now. They're what Phoenix broke records of so many days in a row of 110 or more. Okay, here we go. Antique cars. Oh, wow. That lady, uh, the volunteer, when I checked in, she was really bragging on their car collection. She's right. They've been adding to the, she said, make sure you go, there's a firewall back here. You gotta go through the door, there's more. <laughs> make sure you don't miss any. Very well done. My goodness, colorful. These guys have been restored. Hey, even got a bulldozer in here. Old Jeep. Absolutely perfect. Wow. They must have a car show, I bet, maybe, or something here, too. This would definitely attract uh, car shows. A lot of these small towns, they got their little summer festivals. And My goodness. Pretty darn cool. It's not hot in here like the other buildings. One after another, it's just endless on cars. Kind of reminds me of that Murdo, uh, South Dakota one. Oh, here's our door. Let's go on in. Yay. Oh. <laughs> She wasn't kidding. There is more cars. So if you're a car buff, just this alone is worth coming in here. Check this museum just for cars. A little bit of everything in here. But they're saving history. This is all history. They're saving it. 
Hopefully people will appreciate it. There it is. There's their end in July. End of July they got a car show. Knew it. Well, what do you say? Let's go outside and we'll keep exploring around here a little bit. Oh no. The horse drawn hearse. Yikes. <laughs> And this one's supposed to be the brewery. Coors Beer, Colorado's own Coors Beer. All about beer. They got all their signs, neon signs. different bottles they got beer mugs and steins so if you're into beer here you go <laughs> too bad they don't have a cold beer in a hot day huh Quite a collection of belt buckles. And of course, how about all the tap handles? Wow. That must be one of their new buildings, or she said they're uh, putting more in. Well, what do you say? We'll wander our way back to where we started. The perfect house, huh? Old washboards, <laughs> washing machines. I don't think they've missed anything putting in the, this museum. Oh, goodness. Dining room. Remember when people used to sit around and actually eat dinner together? Even an old phone, telephone operator listening in on your call. <laughs> what do we got here? Like a coal room, huh? A lot of this wood looks kind of new. They. They've done it well. I know I keep saying that, but pretty impressive. Here's the sewing machine building. Looks like every brand and antique machine you can think of. Need an iron? Do people even iron their clothes anymore? Pretty cool posters. Wow. Oh, 
old time spinning wheel. That's quite a can collection there. We're being a replica city, I mean, or town, I guess, not city. What am I thinking? People could live here. <laughs> Time tractors. Look at that sleigh. Yeah, you get snow here. Wagon wheels. That'd be one cold ride in the snow, huh? Old time snowmobile, huh? <laughs> Ooh, we got stairs. Let's go up. Building is pretty well constructed. Lanterns, bottles. You name it, it's here. There's an old sled. I had a sled when I was a kid. Looks like a some kind of grinder. Oop, here's our view. Shows you the size of this place. Look at that. My goodness. There's a few acres here. I would consider this a museum and a park. You can hear uh, planes taking off, the uh, airport's right behind here. A lot of commuter flights. How about some rocks, huh? Just like quartzite. Go for a buggy ride. Back in the day, that was it. Hey, bicycles. Those are the ones you actually have to pedal. <laughs> I'm spoiled anymore with all the e-bikes. Wide pedal and you can hit the throttle, huh? Wow, big old photographs. Just back in the day, huh? Everyone wore a hat. All the people on horseback. Different times, huh? Here's a runway to the airport. It's huge. Keep hearing a lot of planes taking off. a general store get your groceries get 
get all your supplies. Now there's a chunk of quartz. I'd like to find a gold nugget that big right next to it. <laughs> Where there's quartz, there's usually gold. What do we got in here? Tractor room. like what generators compressors probably old farm truck some of these buildings are huge I mean it just keeps going how about a printing room old time printing presses What a eye for cl there's got to be more of a story to this museum to have this much of a collection in a town the size of Gunnison. It's just endless. My goodness. I mean, it's everything you could think of. Those, that's quite a collection right there, just beer steins. Hello, operator. And that was the real deal back in the day. No cell tower there, huh? <laughs> Need a piano? My goodness. Old portrait photos back in the day. Little harps. Huh. Oh yeah, gotta have Mickey Mouse collection. <laughs> Disney stuff. Wow. Telephones. Not just a couple of them, I mean walls of it. Dial-up phone. Kids nowadays wouldn't even know what to do. You could literally spend days here. In a museum like this. This really reminds me of that museum I visited a couple years ago in Murdo, South Dakota, where they just had absolutely building after building of everything in it. Not one or two buggies, how about a dozen? Well, we've covered quite a bit of this place. 
I looked in most of the buildings. But like I said earlier, it's like a park. It's park and museum. Wherever you look, something to see. Well, there's uh, some more inside the building that we came in. Head on in there. Uh, nothing happened here in 1897. Here you go, I found my room, the cameras, look at all those. I might have even had one or two of those through the years. Just incredible, everything in this place. This is upstairs. Man, oh man. Well, I'm sure glad I came here. And they were open. Kind of got the place to myself. Very, very well done. Definitely come here to Gunnison uh, Museum. Oh, wait, there's more. Didn't hit this room. Oh, here's the gun room. And more guns. Some of them things look brand new, as old as they are. Well, definitely one for the memory books, this one. Pioneer Museum, Gunnison. It is so well worth the money. If you like looking at old stuff, spending the day. Most of the buildings, uh, they're nice and cool. I mean, a couple of them are a little warm, but it's a hot, hot time of year. But those big buildings, uh, good ventilation. Well, here's the Gunnison River. Look at that, they got rafters. Do a raft ride here, right along the river. Water's really flowing, that's clean, cold water. Come out of the mountains. Quite a cool trip today, leaving Montrose, coming over here once again, it was only 70 miles. US 50, kind of busy road, but it was okay. We got to see uh, Blue Mesa Lake. What's this? Some kind of statue. That's a wood carving. Don't 
Tomorrow we keep heading east on US 50 and then we're gonna truck north way up in the mountains, way up. Journey continues. Talk soon.